<laughs> so I saw, um, I was just, we're always reading through you guys' comments, and um, I saw a few things that were brought up. One is, um, how do we deal with the power of the sun? And like, what are steps we take to minimize the amount of sun damage we get? <laughs> you stare into it. <laughs> <laughs> Absorb sunlight in the morning. Right? That's how you get all your vitamins. <laughs> they call it sunning. Sun worshiping. So, um, but I, I don't know. I, I mean, I would say like... You are an expert. Think, You're covered at yeah, all times. Yeah. And I, I am good on the subject because I'm super sun sensitive. And some of you out there probably, hey, I don't get that uh, affected from the sun. I don't feel <laughs> too bad after a big day in the sun. Me, like it's. In like other a, words, he's saying he's pale. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a very pale skin, um, and it's a death sentence for me. Like my skin, so it's weird. Both of my brothers, they tan, right? They'll get a sunburn, their skin will peel, and then they'll get tan, more like a darker shade. Me, I've never been able to tan. I only got freckles, so yeah. it was like you could just tell some people their genetics. They have immediate um, sun damage on the skin, like. My whole back is covered in sunspots and freckles um, from just a childhood of being in the sun. Whereas my brothers, their skin looks like normal skin, like normal tan yeah, skin. Yeah, they tan. I even get super tan. I even can get super dark. Like, and I can get tan. It's weird that your brothers can, but you don't. Yeah, because it, I've seen you sit in the sun for literally 15 minutes, 20 yeah. minutes, and later that day, you're red. Destroyed. Like sunburn. Totally. Like, holy um, shit. So All it's... Right. Super sun, it's it's reactivity to the sun. I'm I'm not blessed with genes to be in the sun, um, and I'm in a career where all you, we are is in the sun. And so steps I would take if you are sensitive to the sun is you get yourself a hooded rash guard. Those have been game-changing yeah. for me and my brothers, um, especially if you're in tropical locations. Um, when I was in colder weather, I didn't really have a problem with the sun. It, it felt like... Uh, it just wasn't as intense as places like Indo or Mexico or Hawaii yeah. where the sun seems to cause a lot more damage more quickly. Except in Australia, it's pretty strong. But I would suggest Oz you guys... Is, yeah, there's something up over there. The sun's really strong. Um, hooded rash guard. I wear sunscreen, and the type of sunscreen I wear is like the stick, the like zinc stick. Um, I use a brand called Protect, but you guys could use whatever you would like as a stick form. Um, and I cake it on, I cover my face and I try to get my backs of my ears and the backs of my neck. Um, but that's just as far as sunscreen, you can only do so much on that part. The main part is like limiting your exposure a ton. So during pipe winters, I start wearing long sleeve, um, spring suits instead of short sleeve yeah. spring suits. And just that covering of the forearm goes so far with even extending your endurance in the session. And so, yeah. like, protecting yourself, hiding yourself from the sun is going to extend your surf sessions as well because of the, the beating you take. Like, people – so any other sport, dude, think of our sessions, surfing big waves or surfing where the waves are really good. We don't go in. Yeah. Any other sport, ultra marathon runners, everything, they have water with them or they have water breaks or they stop. We go four- to five-hour session paddling nonstop, getting work nonstop. Yeah. And no water, no food that entire time. And yeah. so, I mean, maybe it's training us to have some sort of weird uh, endurance to the physical, like the elements. But endurance while being dehydrated. Yeah, exactly. Because you're in the water, but you're still sweating. And so on top of it, you're sweating and you're pissing constantly. Yeah. If you guys get in the shower or you jump in a pool like, or you jump in the ocean, your first thing your body does for whatever reason is just release pee. And mm -hmm. so... Five hour session, you pee a hundred times. <laughs> You're just draining the water like it's the yeah. worst thing. And then you add sun exposure on top of that. Yeah. I've, so this is really interesting because I trained right after the injury. I trained constantly, did horrible workouts, would feel like tired after, exhausted. But when I started surfing again, I had forgotten what the poison of the sun feels like <laughs> yeah dude i would surf three hours and feel instead of like that like oh exhausted good feeling yeah i would feel like sick from sunlight yeah just laying on my couch overheating heat flashes like oh the poison of god that's the worst feeling yeah so it, i i'm not in the same boat as you i i can have sessions like hours and hours long or all day in tahiti if i just put sunscreen on my back and face I'll be fine. You guys were barebacking it in Fiji, and it was blowing my mind. 
Yeah, well, I'm fine, dude. <laughs> I was like, I, no, it's impossible. I'm like, I'm going to get super tan. <laughs> but uh, I, it's just, I guess it must just be genetic. I saw this random thing that's probably going to be very controversial to talk about. And I don't know if it's true or not, but um, I saw this guy talk about sunscreen and how it can actually cause cancer. I'm not a scientist or a doctor, by the way. I'm just going to throw this out there. But uh, <laughs> as you know, I'm not. But um, <laughs> he was saying the sunscreen, a lot of sunscreens we use, I'm sure the one you use Protect is like natural and good for your skin. It's yeah. not full of like toxins or anything. But the majority of people use a sunscreen that's like in an aerosol can or like it's just something just off the shelf of like a drugstore. But um, that sunscreen can actually block... There's two. There's a few types of UVs or two, and it blocks one of them and allows one in that causes like cancer, and the skin cancer. So it's just like, is one of those UVs good or are both bad? Um, no, I think they're good for a little amount of time because you get vitamins from the sun. Like you get vitamin D from the sun, yeah. which is something that protects you from cancer. So it's super weird. I th- but back to what I was saying was, long story short, sunscreen can cause cancer. But little amounts of sun exposure can actually boost your the vital vitamins you mm-hmm. need to protect yourself from skin cancer. Again, no doctor. Just throwing it out there. It was just a weird thing I saw. So if you guys do know more about it, leave a comment. I think, I think there's plenty of research and study on how um, good small amounts of sunlight are for you. Yeah. So like, what you know, people will get sick and they'll get depleted in vitamins, like you're saying, vitamin D. Yeah. In areas of the world where there is a huge lack of sunlight. Yeah, that's what they're saying. That like the highest skin cancer places are somewhere like England, where everyone's in the gloomy all the time, but then they'll get skin cancer when they go in the sun because they don't have a sun tolerance. And then when they go in, they put on these bad sunscreens that allow um, their body to get filled with like sunburn or whatever i could see it i mean do you remember when i was on that neutrogena kick <laughs> <laughs> that was like a chemical burn you scared me out of taking it i was on this like weird costco purchase neutrogena sunscreen I was like, you cannot use you're that. like stop using that but yeah. it would it would work it would work for um certain places and then we realized like what was in that sunscreen at that time this is like probably before like just recently sunscreen have huge regulations now it Do has they to have be regulations? reef safe it has, i mean here in hawaii you can't sell a sunscreen or um yeah i think it's just you can't sell it but a brand cannot sell in hawaii unless it's has no effect on the reef because so oh. many tourists were coming in covering themselves with sunscreens like neutrogena and these other ones that have like a shit ton of really bad chemicals in them yeah going into the ocean and the oils would just have you ever gone to like Waikiki. Kahana Bay or Waikiki? The surface smells like sunscreen. Yeah, it's disgusting. It was just smoking the reef and the and the creatures in the water. And so they made yeah. like big regulation. It has to be like organic, has to be natural source. It can't have any of these heavy chemicals. That's awesome. But That's- if it's smoking the reef and you're rubbing it all over your body. Yeah. Like it, it, I can not see, good. I could definitely see certain sunscreens could be huge damage. So any, it's important to choose the right ones. Anything you put on your skin is going to just get absorbed into your body. So when you put those chemicals on, that's why I barely use sunscreen. When I try not to, unless I'm on surf trips. <laughs> and I get tan. I swear to God, I get you tan. Do. Yeah. But, uh, or I put it on my face just because I don't want to get like wrinkly or whatever. And it's always good sunscreen. But those chemicals can go into your body and cause cancer as well. Back to what I was saying. Yeah. Some of those are such bad chemicals that they do that. But it's funny. That's awesome that they're doing that for the reef, but I feel like there's such bigger things that they could regulate here that could help the reef in that way. Cause you look at it, you look at all these huge, um, like say turtle Bay, all that golf course pesticides, like oh, the man, biggest yeah. golf course. It's just going straight into the water. Mm-hmm. That is got to be a thousand times worse than the sunscreen that tourists have on. Yep. It's where the things people focus on. I well, feel like. I mean, I'm sure on the back end, it's all political. Oh, it's all what, where can we put this rule in place so that we get monetized in this other section or whatever we block here? What's going to sell more of? Oh, we have 
a giant equity position. In <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Well, this law is really going to help everybody. <laughs> well, now you have to buy this. ABC store carries exactly. all of this. Exactly. ABC yeah. store is like that whole deal. So, of course, there's all. What do they call it? Um, do they call it lobbying, I think. Something like that. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure. Like, uh, it's like the, the Airbnb thing. Uh-huh. There's two sides to that, right? There's like, Airbnb in your home is causing investors to come in and buy up the home prices. But at the same time, if you're a local that has a home and you ever wanted to make money off your home, you no longer can, right? That's yeah. also what Airbnb restrict- re- regulations do. Or if you have land, you can't put up a ADU and help your family supplement on income. Yeah. Who wants that the most? Who wants tourists to fly in and only to be directed to one place, the big resorts. Turtle fucking bay. <laughs> <laughs> the giant resorts do yeah. not want people yeah. renting their homes out for vacation. Because makes sense. all of that traffic, someone's going to be able to rent a house for cheaper nightly rate, mm-hmm. a full house with every amenity than their 900 base rate rooms. Yeah. So it's, it's crazy. On that, on that weird subject. Back to the sun thing. I'm probably going to start wearing... Um, Say goodbye to our Turtle Bay sponsorship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> start wearing uh, tights to block my calves. Yeah, I was just going to ask you about that. What do you do about your legs when you're wearing trunks? My legs look le- terrible like a crocodile's back. Like my legs, the sun damage of... I try to put sunscreen on them, but because of the, you're paddling constantly and you're just face up to the sun on the backs of your legs, it yeah. is getting so wrecked. And I believe super detrimental to my career of being in the sun that I'm seriously considering wearing some type of surf pant. Like, yeah, I don't know if they're made or they're developed yet. I see, oh yeah, a I see a couple guys wear yeah. something like it. I don't know what it is, but guarantee, like, if I go to Indo this year, if I go to Mexico, I'm gonna you're probably gonna see me in some sort of full body rash guard suit. Yeah, you need it. <laughs> and I'll have reef walkers on. So <laughs> Wait, like, why why the reef walkers? Because like the like Vans makes these little ones, these little like surf boots they're <laughs> yeah. called. And I had them in Indo and they were so sick for cruising around in. Sick. Just And um I have a signature pair, so check them out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go check them out. 